The next thing I wanted to show was planning a sprint. And sprints are created and managed in Greenhopper. Um, they will no longer be managed by setting a value for a fixed version. And I'll talk more about that later. But if I were to create a sprint on the East Coast board, I can actually, I'm going to switch over to the test space and do that. Sorry. In this view, in our testing space, you see a sprint. It is an active sprint, and you see the backlog. I could create the next sprint that maybe we're going to start planning. Sorry. There we go. And if I were the product owner on the PDT, I could be putting items into the sprint. Um, there are a couple ways to do that. I can drag this bar down if the items right at the top of the backlog are the ones that I want to put in the sprint. So I'll do that for a handful. I can also drag items up and into the sprint, and I can sort of place them in an order within what would become a sprint backlog. I do say that if I'm a product owner or a team lead, I could do that, um, and, and only those roles, because Greenhopper, following a Scrum methodology, um, it is built on a perspective that if you put an item of work into a sprint, you are saying it is more important than other work. It's more important than the work in the backlog that you chose not to put into the sprint. So effectively, you're prioritizing that work. And um, we are set up such that product owners um, and uh, with support from team leads are, um, are, are the folks who, who make decisions about priority of work. Um, or core team leads when we, again, don't have product owners on some of those core teams. If I were ready to, or once I've dragged items into the sprint, I can see some aggregate information about the number of issues and the amount of time that, uh, the, the amount of effort of work that I've planned. And if I were to go up to this, the top of this bucket here, I would see Start Sprint, and I can't click it. I can't do anything with it. And that's because I have another sprint that's active up here. So I can do some pre-planning, um, but I can't start a sprint until I close out the old sprint. 